Hey dancers, Miss Nicole here, ready for our final Broadway bound activity, the Playbill Photo Booth and Photo Booth Props. We're gonna start by making our Playbill Photo Booth frame. Now, if you already had Broadway bound camp with me once this summer, you've already made your frame, so you can skip ahead a little bit to your Photo Booth Props. Start by creating our photo booth frame. You'll want the really thick side to be up at the top. This is where we're gonna put our little yellow sign that says Broadway Bound Dance Camp. Now, if you think yours is a little bit big, you might wanna trim it down a little bit. I think I'm gonna trim mine down on the top just a little bit. And then we're gonna just take our glue bottle, put a little bit of glue all around the outside edge and stick it onto the top of your photo booth frame. Make sure it's nice and centered. Beautiful. Next, we'll take our little bag of sequins. These are gonna be kind of like little lights. We've got all kinds of different pretty metallic colors. So what I'm gonna do is actually set mine all around first, give a nice little pattern. Now that we've got them all in the places we want, again, we're just gonna take our glue bottle just put a little dot of glue on each of these and then flip them over to stick them down. And there we have it. To make our photo booth props, we'll start with our templates. First, we'll need to cut out all of our templates and then trace them onto the different colors of paper. Now that you have all of your templates cut out, let's go ahead and put them on the pieces of cardstock that they will be cut out of. We've got a gold color for our crown, red for Snoopy's collar, orange for our piece of pie, gray for our cat ears, and black for our witch hat. This is just suggested. You're welcome to use any of these colors for any of the photo booth props that you'd like to. Go ahead and trace them onto your cardstock, then cut them out of the cardstock. You can see from my photo booth props that I took my permanent marker and added some details onto them so that they look a little bit more realistic. Now it's time to put our popsicle sticks onto our photo booth props. Because I had a little extra cardstock left, I snipped off a piece of the cardstock so that when I put the popsicle stick on, I can glue this on the back and it'll look really neat and it'll also keep the popsicle stick nice and sturdy. All you need to do is flip your photo booth prop over onto the back side. Decide where you want your popsicle stick to go. I think I'm gonna put mine off to the side a little bit. Put a little glue on your popsicle stick. Stick it down and hold it in place. Then take your strip of paper, put some glue on that. and glue it over the top of the popsicle stick, almost like a little sandwich. Hold it down for about 30 seconds to help encourage it to dry, and then do the same thing with all of the rest of your photo booth props. And you're all done. Check out those photo booth props. You've got a pie for Donkey Pot Pie, a little dog collar for Snoopy, a king for the Lion King, just can't wait to be king, cat ears, of course, for cats, and a witch hat for Elphaba and Wicked. Now you can use your photo booth frame as a little frame and your props to pose and look cute while you take pictures. Send me any fun pictures that you and your family or your friends may take. I'd love to see them.